Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. Trunch and Dan here. And I'm going to be doing a kind of an update, care sheet and feeding of my Canscoria Genicolata. But before I do that, I'm going to be uh, giving a shout out to the person that requested this video. Uh, his name is Jay Fraser. I will be putting a link to his YouTube channel in the uh, description of this video. Uh, he just started doing um, like spider videos and things like that. And he's very active on my uh, my videos and my sort of social media, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, and things. So uh, yeah, I be I've been speaking to him. He asked me if I would give a quick shout out for him. And I think that's a really you know, great thing to do. So uh, yeah, please go and check out Jay Fazer. He's got um, a, a video of his Rocky Palmer Vegans, uh, an unboxing video. So um, in fact, I'll link that video in the description so you can go straight to it. And yeah, please just go and check him out. I'm sure he would appreciate it. And if you do, let him know that you came from this video, just so um, he knows that the words kind of got out, I guess. Uh, he's only got uh, seven subscribers at the moment. So uh, hopefully he'll grow and do more videos in the future. And to anyone else that would like any kind of a shout out, please, uh, if you contact me on Facebook or Twitter, and I will get a shout out video done for a few of you, if you'd be interested. So with that said, Please check out his channel, and I hope you enjoy this video that was requested by you, uh, Jay. And uh, yeah, let's go and check out the spider. Okay then everyone, so this is my Canscoria genocolata. At the moment you can't see her because she's in here, but I will try and get out in just a second. Before I do that I'll be telling you how I've been keeping this particular spider, and how that will change as the spider gets bigger. So at the moment she's in this small sort of like stacking container uh, with about two inches of substrate which is plenty at the moment because she's obviously only a juvenile. As she gets bigger she will need a larger enclosure. Um, I would say something like this. Something like this size really. Uh, these are uh, 45 centimeters by 30 with a height of 30 as well so you can see there's about four and a half inches of substrate and uh, obviously closer to about seven at the deep end uh, with obviously decorations and things as well and yeah the the decorations are not really essential at all um, the most of mine have uh, the obviously a hide which is essential for all spiders um, to sort of lock themselves away in uh, the only spiders that probably won't use a hide are those that do webs things like avix because um, they'll usually spin their own um, their own like hides but they're always essential to keep uh, things out especially when they go into molt or do egg sacs they need to be left undisturbed they'll be uh, blocked up by the spider to prevent anything from disturbing it so yeah obviously as they get bigger bigger enclosures more substrate for burrowing a couple of decorations and a hide um, I know a lot of people go on at me about not using water bowls I don't use it for any of my spiders um, the only one that actually has is Zelda, I think. Um, but every, nothing else does. And the reason for that is because half of mine I put uh, water in the, in the bowl and then the spider will fill it with substrate. So there's no point. So, uh, yeah, for those who keep saying you know, I need to get a water bowl, in the wild they don't have people coming and giving them water dishes. So I don't do it either. So, uh, yeah, as to how to keep these temperature and humid humidity wise, excuse me, um, I keep. Uh, these are between 24 and 27 degrees obviously at night they will go a little bit cooler and humidity I keep it at 70% so I usually give these a, a good spray out every day every uh, normally in the evenings um, and it keeps it kind of a little bit damper overnight and then because uh, obviously that's when they tend to come out uh, I do also put in like these uh, like moss uh, which I put that in when it's a bit damp and then it dries off and kind of get it out and give it a re-soak again so uh, yeah, they're really easy to keep, um, and as for the size of them, uh, a female will get to a good 8 inches, but that is bulky, they are big bulky spiders, and they don't have like little spindly legs and things like that, so, and as for the uh, the growth rate, they are a very fast growing uh, spider, um, you know, usually 3.5 to 4 inches in one year, and then obviously few more years after that to reach the full um, 8 inches leg span 
the temperament of these is, uh, I would say, they're not aggressive, um, but they will kick hairs at you if they feel threatened, uh, which isn't too bad, unless of course you're allergic to the hairs, like I am, in which case you want to stay well away from that. Um, but they shouldn't bite, and if you were to get bit by one of these, it won't kill you. Uh, the venom is kind of like a bee sting, so nothing you know, nothing major really with these. But they are a beautiful spider. I'm going to try and get her out, and then I'm going to uh, try and feed her. Okay then, so here's my female. And you can see why they're called the white knee. They have a black carapace, red abdomen, or black abdomen with red hairs, and then the knees or the legs have all got these really cool little white stripes on them. So very, very attractive looking spider. And I actually have some food for it. Let's see if she'll take that down. I have kind of crushed the head a little bit, so it can't pose any kind of a threat to her. Okay, yeah, she did take that down. I guess she felt the other one was too big for her. Okay, and everyone, well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and Jay. I hope this video has been okay for you. If any of you have any other requests, please let me know on my Facebook or my Twitter, which the links of those are in the description. And I'm also on uh, Instagram, if you'd like to follow me there and see what I'm up to. And uh, yeah, please keep the requests coming everyone. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you all very soon.